All right, welcome back. Um, again, my name is Greg, and we're going to continue on uh, with the configuration of GNS3. Um, in this portion, um, we're going to go ahead and install iOS router devices. Um, in the last video, we showed how to install GNS3 and how to set up uh, GNS3 by changing your paths if you wish to um, put uh, that folder structure out in the C root. Um, and basically, and I'll show you that real quick. Uh, that's this folder structure right here under C. You got documentation for any of your documentation, images where you keep your iOS uh, router images as well as your IOU um, router images as you'll see in, up, in the upcoming videos uh, as well as the QEMU ASA images um, which we'll have in there as well. Um, under layouts that's for Super Putty uh, and for projects uh, that's where you keep all your projects so that's what we did here is by adding this path. Uh, we also checked uh, the, or I should say set uh, super putty as our preferred telnet connection type we also check this draw a rectangle when an item is selected um, and we went into server and set um, our remote server actually I take that back um, <laughs> We'll go ahead and select. That's something that sometimes if you don't hit apply, uh, it doesn't save. So we'll go ahead and hit apply to that. We want to change our host binding to 192.168.56.1. That's our virtual box host only um, 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 NIC uh, driver that uh, gets loaded by. Um, virtual box um, and um, we will set that for a local so that way we could connect other device types to IOU devices which are under the uh, uh, virtual box. Um, the virtual box uh, at least for the IOU devices uses this host um, right here 192.168.56.101 on this port. Uh, so we go and hit add to that and apply to that. Um, and that way we have that in there. So other than that, that's the only thing we set up. So um, let's go ahead and set up an IOU device. And to do that, um, an, or excuse me, an iOS device. Um, to do that, you just click on iOS routers, hit new. Uh, go and hit browse. Um, I usually like to use this 2600 uh, router image um, because it shows both uh, Wix and um, network adapters. Um, some of them don't show Wix um, depending on which router platform you choose. So we'll go and select that, hit next. Um, your name and platform gets auto-populated based on the platform you, cho you chose. Uh, same with chassis, but chassis allows you to change it to different uh, models depending on which one you want. I like the 2651XM. Oops, didn't select it. There you go. And we'll go ahead and hit next. Um, and here is where you put your default RAM for the router. If you're not sure what that is, if you click right here, it will take you to this website. And basically from here, uh, you click this image name. You paste in your image uh, uh, name right here. But make sure you put .bin at the end, not .image. And, uh, and hit enter. And uh, it will uh, show up down here uh, what the, the default RAM or the the best RAM is for that particular image. So that's pretty much how you find out your default RAM. 
Uh, for the most part, GNS3 gets it correct, but uh, if you're not sure, you want to make sure, just go there. So we'll go and hit Next. Uh, this is the network adapters I was talking about. Um, this particular um, network adapter is a, a too fast Ethernet adapter. Um, that's the only one that you could choose for slot 0. Slot 1 allows you to choose other ones. Um, to, it just depends on what you what you, your needs are but for a baseline image I usually don't select anything in here other than leave that and we'll go ahead and hit next I do add to serial because I figure you need serial uh, in most cases um, for your topology so we'll go ahead and hit next to that um, for the Wix and then under idle PC uh, you want to make sure you click this idle PC uh, button or idle PC finder button uh, what that will do is it will it will uh, look at your CPU and find the um, the best value um, address for your uh, CPU cores um, to um, to find out what's the one that that uses the uh, the least amount of CPU utilization, and you can watch that by bringing up your task manager on the performance tab and watching your CPU utilization or the usage history as you run it. So we'll go and run that, bring that back up, and you'll see that this goes up and down uh, while it's looking for the the very best. Um, address for the for the cores this takes about 30 to 60 seconds and you gotta do this for each iOS router image um, because each computer is different and each iOS uses um, different image um, addresses uh, or values I should say as it shows right here so that's the best value it found um, and uh, as you saw earlier it was going up to like 50 or higher um, so right now it's down to a lower amount and it's saying that's suitable for your iOS image so we'll go and hit OK and pretty much you just hit finish to that and that's pretty much it for iOS router um, image loads. Uh, you can go into edit and modify other things in here such as memory and hard disk uh, sizes. Um, again you can modify your baseline um, adapters and wicks if you want. Um, this shows the uh, idle PC address that we just it just found. Um, and that's pretty much it for iOS routers. So we'll see you in the next video for loading IOU. Take care.